Trees are good for the environment, right? Not this tree. Tree of Heaven came to the U.S. from China in 1784 as a garden and street tree. With its seeds and intense root suckers, it quickly became invasive all over the U.S. It's merciless in our natural areas, releasing allelopathic chemicals that kill native plants. But remove it, and you'll get 50 more trees from the suckers like a hydra. If that's not bad enough, it also hosts the spotted lanternfly, a notorious pest that seriously threatens agriculture, especially grapes. Tree of Heaven is a suckering tree with smooth gray bark that's 60 to 90 feet tall when mature. Large, alternate, pinnately compound leaves have bronzy new growth that matures to dull green. To distinguish from native lookalikes, check the leaves. Tree of Heaven leaflets are smooth, except for notches at the base. Plus, they stink like rotten peanut butter when you crush them. Panicles of stinky yellow flowers in summer turn into reddish samaras with many seeds inside. And if not hand pulled while young, the only way to kill this tree is with herbicides. Don't delay. Remove it. ASAP. Our favorite Virginia native alternative to Tree of Heaven is Staghorn Sumac and Smooth Sumac, Rustifina and Rus glabra. These species make beautiful accent trees with their feathery leaves, red fruit spikes, and vivid autumn color. They stay small to medium sized. While the straight species sucker aggressively, there are a few cultivars that are less weedy and still provide all of the beauty and wildlife value of sumac.